Hey everybody, want a Krispy Kreme donut? I bet you will after you watch this movie. We're looking at the latest superhero movie to come out. It is uh, the Power Rangers movie. And I was not really looking that forward to this movie because I had never watched the show ever. And I didn't, I tried to watch the movie, the 1995 movie, and I thought it was so boring I fell asleep. So it wasn't for me. <laughs> so I had no nostalgia or anything for this property, but I thought that the trailers were really solid. And so I decided, what the heck, I'm gonna give it a shot. And so I went in and I actually walked out having had a pretty good time. Like for once, a superhero movie actually was better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, not a disappointment. And I think what makes this movie work, to me at least, is the is the cast that they got. Uh, for basically most of them being unknowns, I think that they did really well and they had really good chemistry uh, between them all. And I thought that their relationship as a group developed in a way that felt authentic to me for a group of high school students. It didn't just happen overnight. It wasn't really, I didn't think, too cliched uh, in, in, in their sort of roles, I guess. I thought that they had some character development and some... Uh, uh, you got to know them a little bit, their families, where they were coming from. I also really liked how diverse the cast was. RJ Kyler, who played Earl in Meet Earl the Dying Girl, I thought he was really good in this. And he not only is an African American on the cast, but he was also playing somebody on the spectrum. And I think that kids that are African American, kids that are on the spectrum, will, will be able to see this movie and will be able to see somebody that they relate to. And I thought they, they did it in a non patronizing way that I think uh, was really cool. Hello Ranger, played by Becky G, is what it said online. Um, I thought she was really good too. Uh, she plays a, a, she's actually a lesbian, but it was just part of her character. It wasn't like a huge deal, uh, it wasn't a huge reveal. So I liked that, I thought that was cool. And they have a, an Asian character who plays the the black ranger and I thought that was was really cool I mean I just think that all kids will have somebody they can relate to there's women there's all different things so that's really cool and so I think that this movie works really well for like the first probably two acts where you're seeing them get to know each other you're seeing them interact I really liked that I thought it was I thought it was engaging I was interested in these characters and, and I've read ranger played by Dacry Montgomery he looks exactly like Zac Efron. It's so funny. Like, he, he could be his twin. I have uh, Brian Cranston as Zordon, who's like this sort of... Uh, he almost reminds me of the, the wizard in Wizard of Oz. Uh, sort of that's how it looks. And, uh, and then Alpha 5 as a robot, voiced by Will Hader. I thought they were really good. I enjoyed them. And I liked, you know, watching them train. And just all that part I thought was really good and it felt authentic. There's a really nice scene where they're all sort of hanging out by the fire, talking, and all of that worked for me. What didn't work for me is the part that probably fans of the show will probably like a lot was honestly when they started becoming Power Rangers. And I, I didn't like the fact that that they don't get to do very much hand-hand combat kind of things. It was mostly in these bots, and then it turns into like the Transformers, and that to me was just, uh, that, that was just boring. And I don't know, you don't get any character or personality or anything from these big machines fighting. And it just looks like, oh, this is CGI. To me, that was really boring. They have this, the villain played by Elizabeth Banks, Rita Repulsa, she was, she was pretty violent. Like, I, I think that that's where they got the PG-13. I was a little bit surprised how violent that she got. Um, she's definitely really over the top and, I don't know, wasn't my favorite, but uh, but she wasn't a deal breaker either for me. Some people might really hate her. And again, I haven't watched the original show, so I don't know how it compares. And they weren't constantly throwing fan service in your face, which I appreciated. Like there wasn't a lot of stuff that I didn't understand or didn't know about. I thought that Rita Repulsa felt a little bit like the Enchantress in Suicide Squad, which is never really a good thing. You no, know, just very, and I, uh, I didn't really like that. And she even creates this, this beast called Goldar, which reminded me a lot of the brother that the Enchantress creates. And I thought he was super boring and did nothing for me at all. And so, yeah, kind of the end of the action just was like, yeah, I liked it much better when they were 
teenagers interacting and trying to learn these new skills and trying to figure it out and how are they going to do it and that was cool I thought it sort of reminded me of Chronicle a little bit uh, but I think the characters are oddly a little bit more likable here in than in Chronicle. They don't turn into rangers till pretty late in the movie so that like I said that might annoy fans but I actually preferred that that was good and the other thing like I, I said with the joke with the Krispy Kremes I've never seen a movie with so much product placement in my life and it's not just like because the Smurfs movies have the worst product placement I've ever seen it's just unending with this <laughs> that's like just like sort of in background shots and like the Smurfs will be on top of a Sony laptop and stuff like that this is like integral to the plot things happen at Krispy Kremes that 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 are important to the story and I found that amazing I just thought that was so crazy I've never seen anything like that before and uh, it was almost so over the top that it was funny and you kind of wondered if they were sort of joking around uh, but it makes the IHOP scene in Man of Steel look like nothing <laughs> Um, there was some actually some Man of Steel moments I thought where it's like again the action in the last where it's like oh the whole town is getting destroyed this is boring to me and so uh, so yeah there were some negatives but overall I walked out having had a good time having had some introduced to some nice characters that I liked and uh, feeling like it was a pretty solid little movie um, so surprisingly I give Power Rangers a B minus. I, I thought it was good. So let me know what you think, especially if you're a big fan, what you think about it. If you liked it, if you don't like it, uh, put it in the comment section, let me know. And thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you later. Bye.